Yo, the Sizemo Pocket 3 right here is the perfect freaking gym camera. Let's go. Yo, yo, what up, y'all? Tight shirt here, and I'm back for another video. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Remember to be thankful for your freaking life today because you didn't have to have that in this video. Like I said in the intro, we will talk about why the Osmo Pocket 3, in my opinion, is the perfect gym camera. But before we get into the meat potatoes, first of all, I need to color grade this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply one of the custom gym LUTs that I made are called Terry's Gym LUTs. I made five of them. I'm gonna color grade it because I'm using D-Log M right now. Make sure that you grab these after this video, I'll explain why in a little bit. Anyways, I wanna say this first. Before we start lifting and all that stuff, I mean, I kinda of started already. Just because you have a camera and you lift weights or you in the gym does not give you extra privileges, okay? I need to say this. I know some of y'all feel a certain kind of way about people having cameras in the gym, and I feel you, I understand it, but also, you gotta realize that it is the world we live in now, and some people, for whatever their reason is, like to film themselves in the gym, me included. So, I think what's important is if you do choose to film yourself in the gym, that you are freaking mindful of other people. Not everybody wants to be on camera. A lot of people come to the gym to try to fix their insecurities, and the last thing they wanna do is be on your freaking camera. So with that being said, I got a bunch of reasons why, actually 10 reasons why the Osmo Pocket 3, for me, is the perfect gym camera. I'll give you two of the major reasons. First of all, it's got a freaking gimbal that's tracking me, which is crazy. And it's got a one-inch sensor. This gives you much better footage than the cell phone. But let's get into it. All right, let's see if I can talk while doing calf races, okay? The first thing I love about the Osmo Pocket is just how small it is. Now, there's 40,000 small cameras out there, but most of them have tiny sensors, so image quality ain't that good. And they don't got freaking gimbals on them. And the fact that the Osmo Pocket is so small with those features make it a perfect fit for the gym. You can get better quality out of like a mirrorless camera, but you know those come with additional sizes. You need lenses all that other good stuff. The Osmo Pocket will give you better quality than an action camera. And then your phone, it can get you close to a mirrorless camera in some situations without the additional size required. Now, the other reason that it's dope is because as you see, I have it on an action mount that's magnetic. So because it's so small with those features, I could deploy it and put it in weird places without being in people's way. And I don't need a freaking tripod. Tripods in the gym are one of the biggest complaints because they just get in the way, people trip over them and stuff like that. The fact that I can just stick this to stuff and get different angles and high quality and track myself, which I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, it's just fire. Let me show you this magnetic mount because honestly for the gym, it's goaded because you can just stick it to machines and in weird places. So let me show it to you. So this is the action mount that I use. Now there's a bunch of magnetic ones on Amazon, but I found this one to be one of the best because of how strong the magnet is. Also, it's got a ball head on here and a quarter 20 mount. And now the only thing you got to do is put the dummy base on the bottom of the Osmo Pocket 3 and then you literally just screw it on top. And with this, you can stick this to machines, which means you don't have to, you know, carry around a tripod or be in people's way. Now, another reason why the Osmo Pocket 3 is goaded is look how steady this footage is. I'm not even trying to walk steady. So it's because it's got a freaking physical gimbal on top of it. So your phone action cameras also have stabilization, but those depend on digital stabilization, which means if the footage ain't clean, the stabilization ain't gonna be that good either. Well, because this has a physical gimbal on top, it don't even matter. Plus, if I double tap on my face, it'll start to track my face. I can hit this little button flip it around the selfie mode, which we will then still look for my face and then I can take it up a notch. Since I got it on a magnetic mount, I can go stick it right on the side of this machine. Bam, and I was tracking. Can't do that with no other camera. No other camera, especially not one that's small. It's crazy. Now, I do recommend turning noise reduction down to one and also sharpness down to one and filming in D-Log M. Make sure you set your white balance and try to adhere to the 180 degree shutter rule if you can for the best looking footage. Um, I got a whole video on this that I'll link up there in the upper left hand corner. All 
right, so here's the other dope thing about the Mimo app. Let's just say you set the camera up somewhere, you haven't turned on face tracker yet, and you look at the frame, and you see, man, I'm out of frame. I'm not where I want to be in the frame. Well, the Mimo app will allow you to control the Osmo Pocket from the phone, which is crazy. Remember, it's a freaking gimbal on top, so I could just move the gimbal head and reposition myself right here. I could also draw a box around myself if I wanted to go ahead and start tracking right here. And I can change my white balance, all of that good stuff from right within the Mimo app. So I don't need to make sure that the camera is perfectly positioned all the time because it's got a gimbal on top and I can control the gimbal from there. So let's go ahead and get on with our freaking lateral race. <laughs> Now the other dope thing about the DJI mic that comes with the Creator Combo, which I highly recommend if you get an Osmo Pocket 3, is first of all, you can hear me and these freaking hurt. But second of all, oh, I gotta put this down for one second. You can activate the noise cancellation, which works actually pretty well in the gym. Let me turn it on. You can actually do it from the mic itself just by pressing the power button. Now the noise cancellation is on taking care of some of that music i mean sometimes it does better than others i typically just leave it off but now it's back off but the other dope thing about this microphone not only can people hear you you can control the noise cancellation from it but you can actually start and stop recording so let's just say you set the camera up you forgot to fire up the memo app and you need to press record all you gotta do is tap the link button and it'll trigger recording on the Osmo Pocket. Now this also works for photos, although your phone is probably the better tool for photos. In a pinch, the Osmo Pocket 3 does have a bigger sensor than every lens on your phone. So it can also take good photos. It just doesn't have all the options in the different lenses. Neither here nor there. Again, if you get the Osmo Pocket 3, get the Creator Combo so that you can get the DJI mic with it and record yourself freaking dying on freaking calf races. My Lord, these are. This is another testament of how versatile this magnetic mount is. I just got it stuck to the side of a machine so I can do shrugs. By the way, you don't need a whole lot of weight with shrugs. A lot of y'all be in here doing the chicken shrug. <laughs> you don't need a lot of weight. But anyways, I know we talked about image quality, but having this one-end sensor is a big deal. So not only does it give you background separation, it's kind of difficult to get from your phone unless you use like that fake mode. But even a normal color profile and D-Log M are both 10-bit. So you got a whole lot of color grade and flexibility because you got so much color data. The screen rotates. So this can film vertical content if you want to do it for like TikTok, Instagram, or horizontal. And all you got to do is flip the screen back and forth. Now, vertical is only 3K but it can go up to 60 frames a second. Horizontal is 4K, and it can go up to, if you go to the uh, slow-mo menu, it can go 4K 120, which is absolutely crazy out of a camera that's small. So it's a lot of versatility when it comes to image quality, um, modes, all that other good stuff. It's just so powerful. And do your shrugs, man. Ladies do them too. They're good for you, you know what I'm saying? This is my song by Evanescence. The other thing about the Osmo Pocket, you know, any camera for that matter, is it frees up your phone, okay? So for me, that's a big deal because I use my phone for music and all that other good stuff. I couldn't imagine being in the gym, constantly filming with my phone. Every time you stop recording, the music stop playing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just one freaking instance. So the Osmo Pocket allows you to keep your phone free. You can see yourself at all times, as I already mentioned earlier in the video. You know, if you're filming with the rear camera on your phone, you can't freaking see yourself. But on top of that, you know, it's got great battery life. 
you can remove the storage car so you don't have to worry about your freaking phone running out of storage you know you can just swap the memory card out or transfer the footage to your phone it's just the first little freaking system you know the other thing i want to talk about real quick cost because a lot of y'all are going to be like yo that was my pocket three cost too much it's what 530 dollars by itself for like 669 for the creator combo my question is what other camera you gonna get for the money that can do all of this especially if you're a gym goer you can't get no other camera out there for the money that can give you this so if you're serious about you know taking advantage of everything that the osmo pocket 3 can offer in the gym you kind of got to pay to play in my opinion it's worth the money because there's no other camera out there that's a freaking gimbal built into it that can shoot vertical and horizontal that gives you tracking 4k up to 120 frames a second it gives you 10 bit the dji memo app for connectivity the features from the dji mic 2 like all in one freaking package is honestly it's just game changing there's nothing else like it period but especially not for the gym so with that being said let me get this thing off this magnetic mount is crazy let's start some face tracking if you want to grab one which you should i'm gonna leave a link to the osmo pocket the magnetic mount nd filters everything that i use make sure y'all grab the color grades um, for the gym these were specifically made for the gym they got a little more grit on them and um you know if you film a d log game they just make everything so much easier but anyways sorry about the music in the video i hope you all enjoyed this video uh and until next time oh i got a whole playlist with osmo pocket it's like 20 videos in it's right up there but now i can end the video till next time i'm out of here tyson tear wolf peace and chicken grease i'm out much love y'all peace